Hey, Marcy, I think we're, yes, we're we are. We're on. So we wanted to make this. First, let's just say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. This is our Happy first video of 2023. So it's good to see everyone. Happy right. New Year. Happy New Year. So it's appropriate that it's a new year mm -hmm. and things change. Yes. And the economy right now is an, an, a, a, I don't know if we're officially in a recession. It feels like we're in a recession. The feds have really doubled the interest Last rates. Year, five or six change. Like last January 2022 to now, the, it's drastic in the market. really is. See, I'm even wearing a tie now. You look very handsome today, Jack. What's Thank the you. occasion? I was spending time with you. Oh, all right. That's the occasion. Yeah. Uh, so things have changed in the economy. And, you know, at Gale, we're pivoting. So um, we want to make this as, uh, I'm going to highlight friendly advice or words of wisdom or maybe a new path to mortgage brokers, you know? So we're trying, we want to talk about what will help mortgage brokers in this type of arena, really. Environment, that's yeah. correct. You know, a lot, of, you know, rates of, like I say, over doubled. Yeah, over doubled. A lot of uh, the people who are lending are not lending now, mm -hmm. but there's still a lot of activity. And look, in every market, so we, we were very nice about that because Marcy said we got some criticism that we came off a little bit abrasive to mortgage yeah. brokers and a little like abrupt, but then realizing we don't mean to really be abrupt. It, yeah, we, we, to help you. we don't mean really to be abrupt. All of what we yeah. said before was a lot of sugarcoating. The reality <laughs> is, is that brokers are struggling to do business, rate and term refis. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of borrowers are not qualified. They're having debt service issues. A lot of lenders are not lending. So there's a lot of stuff that you were doing six, nine months ago that you just can't do today. It's almost impossible. So we're going to problem solve. We, well, we, pi out. we pivot it right. gel all the time. You know, we're a 34 year old company, mm -hmm. um, but every two, three years we have to change direction. So we're in an economy now that we have to come up with products for. So let's talk about what brokers can make money with. Absolutely. Okay? So a big thing that works, we're experiencing a gel ourselves. Yeah. And every lender's experiencing a borrowers are struggling to make payments. Okay. And some of them are going into foreclosure. So a foreclosure bailout is a good product. Now, uh, we do them at Gelt. Uh, other lenders do them. And I, if I was a broker, I would be focusing on foreclosure bailout products and pre foreclosure bailouts. A lot of tenants, you know, the economy has a chain reaction. So it starts at the tenant on investment properties. Right. They don't make their payment. Then the landlord can't make their rent, their mortgage payment. And this is how it continues. Tenants are struggling and yeah. it, it, poo poo roll. So that's what's happening. So if I was a mortgage broker, I would be focusing on foreclosure bailouts. We do foreclosure bailouts all the time here mm -hmm. and they're really collateral. It's no different than any other loan. It's a collateral based loan. Uh, some of them you can't get in. Uh, I, we just approved the deal the other day. It was a foreclosure bailout and the tenant wasn't paying rent, so we can't even do get in to do an inspection of the property. But that's what's happening. Uh, there's a lot of tenants, believe it or not, who are still in the property not paying rent from COVID, and they can't. Landlords can't get them out. But we'll finance those properties if the rates. If I'm sorry, not the rates. If the loan to values are low. The equities in the property. So yeah. this is a, a foreclosure bailout is a fantastic product for a mortgage broker, and it's a fantastic product. For a borrower, again, it's going to be priced more than a bank product, but it beats losing the property. And so that saves you. And we can save the borrowers. And the brokers, we can tell you all the time, market yourselves as foreclosure bailout specialists. You know, whatever it may be. And then you can bring it to us and we can help you with that. And remember, when you do a, a borrower has a foreclosure bailout, let's say they were paying a five, six, 7% at banks, and let's say the foreclosure bailout's 12 or 13%, whatever it is, mm -hmm. it's only for a short term, it's a Band-Aid loan. So they're gonna take it for six months, a year, a year and a half, two years, so it's not a forever deal. Right, the, and then they can straighten themselves out and then they can go get conventional financing. Right, so yeah. foreclosure bailouts is one. Right. A good way, foreclosures are public information, so you, if you're a mortgage broker, you could uh, online go to your courthouse. When I say online, you don't go to your courthouse. You could sit in your bedroom and do it as long as you have yeah, a laptop. Have you can you, see what's going on. You could see who's in foreclosure, who has a Liz Pendence filed, who has, um, 
God, my mind just went. You know what I'm thinking about? We're talking about getting old. My fingers have been killing me lately. I think I'm getting arthritis. So it's crazy. This old, I'm getting old. You need to drink more water. I drink. <laughs> the, the problem is I drink water. It goes through me. I mean, just might as well okay, take the but water. Then, but then you can have a little walk. So I just might as well take the water and put it in the urinal or the toilet because that's how fast it goes through me. But anyway, it gets you, you have fresh air then. No one wants to hear about my physical <laughs> Not at all. But that's what I'm thinking Zero. about. So anyway, uh, oh, so so you can go online. Most courthouses in most counties have foreclosures publicized uh, it, online, uh, Liz Pendants, lawsuits online. So you could query through these and there's sites that do them. You could pay a very small monthly for fee. We use some of them. And then reach out. And reach out to the yeah. people. You know what else I found? What? Beside the fact I'm in pain, <laughs> I need Advil. Just forget about it. Yeah, forget about it. I'm <laughs> going to stick with this. Is that a lot of properties go to foreclosure and the owners wind up losing them for a small dollar of money. Of money. Right. So one of the things we do is what we call rescue capital. Rescue capital, I don't want to get too technical. No, but let's define what rescue capital is. Someone is in trouble. Yeah. And, and then they need money to get them out of their situation. So we're rescuing them. Give you a real life example. I'm going to change some of the locations because I don't want to, it's sensitive. Yeah. Property was worth four million bucks in a normal market, okay? This market's not normal. Who knows what the value is? So let's say it's worth $3 million. Not exactly sure. Just giving you some idea. The debt on it is $2 million. They're $300,000 behind in their mortgage payments. They're about to lose the property, okay? That's a fact. Some borrowers have their heads in the sand, but they're about to lose the property. They think things are just gonna go away. Problems don't go but away. they don't. So they're, tech, they're behind $300,000 on, and remember they owe two million, and let's say the property's worth 3%. So what, so these numbers I'm giving you really hold hold true to a lot of cases. I find a lot of foreclosures happen and a lot of borrowers lose properties for give or take five to 15%, 10% of the value. Yeah. So you could have someone who has a $500,000 property and if they're $50,000 behind, $50,000 is a lot of money and $300,000 is a lot of money, but in percentages to the property, yeah. it's not a lot of money. So in the case I gave you before, we injected the 300,000, we provided the 300,000. Now it's not so simple, I'm gonna gloss over some of the details because I don't wanna, Marcy says I, I'll confuse you. No, because it's too much. It's too much, <laughs> but it could be done as debt, it could be done as equity, and really we have to get us on board as the capital provider, the owner of the property, and the current lenders, the lien holder, yeah. and the lien holders on board. But usually you could work out what I call a tri-party agreement. We provide the capital necessary to save a project. The owner is, it's going to cost the owner money. He may, it's it, self-understood, it's not going to be cheap. Maybe but he's not going to lose the property. That's yet. exactly right. That's, that's maybe the it's, key here. Maybe it's debt, maybe it's equity. It doesn't matter. But he's not going to lose it. Not and I found tons and tons of properties are lost for give or take 10% of the value. And like even borrowers that we've come across over all these years, they think things are just going to disappear, like that their problems aren't. But, you know, if you communicate and, you know, reach out, that's why we're, we're out here and we're telling you brokers, borrowers, we could help solve your problems. Yes. So a mortgage broker, this we're making this to mortgage brokers. Yeah. You should be put. If I, I don't want to say you should be pushing because that comes out as obnoxious. I don't mean that. No, but uh, you can advertise. If I yeah. were you, okay, and I would be pushing rescue capital now, foreclosure bailouts, mm -hmm. things of that nature, because again, the uh, that's what's active right now. That's what's active. That's what and, it is. And it may be a little premature because you know the rate uh, hikes are, are are coming into effect. Right. But the Fed's going to keep raising rates, and in the next three to six months, this is even going to be more active. There's going to be more so borrowers sense, who are like in trouble. We want you to get ahead of the game. Yes. We're giving you this information so you can get be ahead of everyone else and start advertising for foreclosure bailouts. And remember, for every problem, there's a solution. Right.
Again, and part of it is you have to know how the pieces go. To be candid with you, a big part of this is you have to be a little bit of a psychiatrist or psychologist or therapist because a lot of borrowers, as Marcy no, it's said, emotional. It's, it's emotional. So emotional. It's ego. Yes. They have their head in the sand. I get it. No one wants to hear bad news. No, no, but we're, that's what we're here to solve your problem. But, but <laughs> when you solve the problem, they're right. going to be so thankful to you. And the bottom line is, we don't want anyone to lose their property. So if there's a solution, we're going to try to find it. That's correct. You know. That's so it. again, I think the message is, uh, don't be afraid to pivot. Pivoting is not a bad word. Mm -hmm. Change direction with the economy. There's tons of information on foreclosure bailouts. We've made a whole thing on rescue capital, foreclosure bailouts. We've Absolutely. made a bunch of them. Over the years, of course. But, it's just very, it's like in the head of the game now, though. Yeah, I, I, so, I, I would advise, if a broker came to see me today, I would tell them, focus on rescue capital. Yeah. Foreclosure. foreclosure and on debtor in possession and exit financing on chapter 11 and chapter 5 bankruptcies i would become a bankruptcy expert no i would it's a bit it's it, yeah. it, it, it's not a big deal today but i'm it's guessing in, in three months six months as the economy goes full cycle it will be right so focus on all these issues and uh, and when they'll be able to pay you you're going to be able to earn money on these no one's asking you to do it for nothing everyone gets paid i think it'll be a great revenue source for borrowers and you can get the deals and the lenders are out there absolutely do we leave anything out not on this topic i think we're good remember check us out oh i always i always, I always forget to tell people in the beginning like the youtube channel i'm saying it at the end if anyone's listening like the youtube channel um check us out at galefinancial.com leave your comments we answer comments all the time and if you need us call us at 561-221-0900 most importantly remember for every problem there's an opportunity and the truth is the biggest money is made when you solve a problem if you're not solving a problem, if it's just a routine transaction, it'll be a single. But when you're solving a problem, it could be a double, a triple, a home run. Plus, you're helping someone, and there's tremendous satisfaction in that. Okay. That's it. Have a great day. Have a good day.